The Remove a Color effect, also known as green screen or chroma key, allows you to quickly remove a single color background from a video. This is great as it allows you to shoot all of your video in one controlled environment, which you can then use to superimpose yourself anywhere. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add the Remove a Color effect to a piece of media, then fine tune its properties to make the end result look as real as possible. To start, you need video that's been shot in front of a single color background. If you don't have any, but would still like to follow along, download the sample green screen video that's linked below. With your video in Camtasia, drag the Remove a Color effect from the Tools panel to the clip on the timeline. Then, open the Properties panel and choose the color you'd like to remove. This part can be a little tricky and sometimes you have to try different areas of the video to get the best results. One way to make this process a little easier is to crop your video so that you have less background to remove. Keep in mind that you won't be able to remove all of the color by simply making a selection. This is where the sliders come into play. Start by adjusting the tolerance, since this has the biggest impact on your color removal. The further to the right you move the slider, the wider range of tints and shades you remove from your video. Next, adjust the softness to smooth out any pixelation and rough edges of color that remain around your subject. Play around with these two sliders to remove as much color as possible without affecting your subject. If you're finding it difficult to achieve this, try resetting the effect and picking the color again, this time from a different area of the background. Moving on, we'll skip the hue slider for a minute and go right to defringe. Sometimes no matter how much you adjust the tolerance and softness, there's still a slight halo around your subject. To address this, move the defringe slider slightly left or right to make any remaining color less noticeable. At this point, you're ready to add a new background to the timeline. Make sure it's on a track below the edited clip and preview the video to make sure everything looks how you want it. If the coloring of the subject looks out of place in the new background, use the hue slider to adjust the clip to match the new background. Invert will hide everything except the color you removed, but I'll let you decide how you might use that. Before we end, let's go over a few tips to keep in mind while working with Remove a Color. First, look out for shadows, especially when shooting your clip and especially when subjects are in motion. Shadows can change the hue of a background or a subject in the foreground, and they make the job of removing a color a lot more difficult. Second, when editing the effect on a clip, check different points in the video. Sometimes the color or lighting may change at different points, and you want to make sure you adjust the effect to match. As a final tip, try reversing the order and add the new background to the timeline before tweaking the sliders. This allows you to preview your final video while fine tuning the remove a color effect. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.